Thank you, everybody. What a warm welcome. It's good to see you guys again, and welcome to another edition of the ALC Morning Show. Last week, you'll remember, I had you guys guess where I was at. I'm going to do it again this week. I'm going to make it a little bit tougher on you. Check it out. Let's see if you can guess where I'm at today. The tip is this. I'm at Lake Victoria. Now you got to guess the country. Lake Victoria is the largest lake in this country, as well as in the entire continent where this country is. Now you'll notice the weather is kind of uh, terrible out. All right? That's because this country, and specifically this lake, has set a world record for the most thunderstorms per year. 242 thunderstorms a year. That's incredible. I don't know if I could even handle living in a place like that. Okay? Now, if that tip's not enough, here's their flag. Maybe that'll help. If not, I'll give you one last tip. And it's that even though this is not America or Great Britain or Australia or Canada, English is their official language. Now, it's kind of their own version of English, but it's the official language. All right, make your guess. Email me your responses. Tell me, where do you think I was? I'm looking forward uh, to see what your guesses are. Okay, let's move on. We've got a lot of great stuff, a lot of teachers that are going to make a guest appearance this week. Let's check out uh, this week's vocabulary word. Carly, what do you know? Okay, hi everybody. I hope you guys had a good Easter. This week's vocab word is in an Easter egg because it was Easter. So um, let's open that up. Let's see what our word is for today. So our word is melodramatic. Melodramatic means over sensationalized, over emotional, exaggerated. Um, an example of a sentence with the word melodramatic in it would be he slammed the door in a melodramatic fashion. All right, I hope you guys have a great week. Bye. Thanks, Carly. Uh, use that word in a sentence today. You'll sound smart. All right, excellent. So uh, I'm not going to slow down or anything here. Let's go on to the next guest that we've got on today's show. And that would be the one and only Haley Jutes. Hi, everybody. Haley here with your mental health tip for the week. How great is it that we get to hang out in comfy clothes and, or sweatpants every single day while we're practicing our social distancing? Yeah, it's probably great. However, your mental health will thank you when you get up and put on a clean set of sweatpants or comfy clothes every morning. What does this do for your mental health? It helps to refresh and rejuvenate your body so you are ready to start a new day, sit down, get that homework done, and any other chores that you need to get done for the day. So my challenge for you this week is every day when you get up, make sure you put on a clean pair of sweatpants or comfy clothes. Your body and your mental health will thank you. Have a great week. Thanks, Haley. That was a great tip. In fact, that's going to lead into my next uh, segment, and that is the tech tip for the day. It has to do with your mental health. So you guys are sitting at home doing distance learning on your computers, and then you're on social media on your phones, and then you're watching the newest show on Netflix, probably like Tiger King or something like that, and by the end of the day, it's like overstimulation of the brain. Okay, uh, studies differ a little bit when it comes to this, but experts say that anywhere between even two and four hours worth of screen time in a day can actually hurt your mental health. It can cause anxiety and depression. So, you know me, I, I'm the tech guy, but I still do try to practice this, limiting my screen time. And that's my challenge to you guys this week is to be careful with your screen, uh, screen time and just choose it wisely. All right. Now, um, it's easy to say that, but I'd actually like to show you a couple things that you can do instead of staring at a screen. You can play with your cats. You can take a walk or a jog. Begin running. You can walk your dog. Okay, and if you don't have pets, well, then, I don't know, take your little brother for a walk. <laughs> Whatever it takes, you guys, to um, have a nice balance between screen time 
and everything else. That brings us to the end of our show. Have a great week.